Correct, correct people, only of if a family members jubilates as KBAC gave them a great news concerning her Queen Naomi because it has gotten to their notice that Queen Naomi is not in the palace and they were disturbed that what would have happened for Mami Tedene Kao to leave the royal manor since Saturday last week as we heard that she left before the celebration of Olori Tobi's uh, welcome back uh, party. She left before that day. So people are beginning to worry, even some Ileife women in Kansu that has come to the palace to look for her and they couldn't uh, find her in the palace. They began to start worrying that uh, it's like when Naomi no longer like KBAC. It's like when Naomi no longer want to be in the palace. Maybe she is no longer interested in staying with the king. A lot of uh, questions has been coming on and on in the palace because of uh, when Naomi cannot be found. So today we heard that all uh, oh, new brothers, they went to KBAC with some elders in the chamber on hearing that KBAC is back in the palace. They went to inquire from KBAC the whereabouts of Mommy Tedenikau. What is wrong? Why is she not yet back? Are you having problem with her? What could be the problem that Mommy Tedenikau was since uh, she left palace has not uh, returned back? That is the question to KBAC. And we heard that KBAC assured them that he is still in good terms with Mommy Tedenikau. That when Naomi left that um, she have one or two things she is running so she needs to stay in her curie and tidy it up like when naomi said so kbs have to give her the freedom to do whatever she wants to do because this time will not know say mommy tedinika will enter palace kbs will not be treating her the way she was being treated when she was in india around 2018 2019 that uh People will be following her around. No. She wants her space now based on what she went through when she was in the palace. So now she is more matured like I tell Luna. She's more matured. She's more intelligent. She's more smarter. So she understands so many things more now. And she has chosen that she will not be moving with crowds. Yes, she will not be moving with people. Let her use her hand and choose one or two people that she will be associated with. Maybe her mother or her sisters will be going with her. Like all the royal outing we are seeing her attending recently. Is it that you see her with her same Isola or you see her with her mother? So she, she's now choosing her inner cycle with carefulness because. You don't know where what will happen to her will come from. So she's trying to be cautious. She's trying to be careful. So she left without telling anybody, only Kabis. And now people are coming to the palace to look for her. Only brothers are asking of her. And Kabis, as we heard, assured them that she, he is still in good terms with Queen Naomi. They don't have any problem. Queen Naomi needs her space, so she will get it. Yes, she will not be treated the way she was being treated when she was 25, 26. She is a nice, full-grown woman now. Yes, she's 31, if I'm not mistaken. She's 31. So she carries herself now with pride because she has learned more. She has known better. So they were interrogating with KBAC, you know, making G's, chatting with KBAC. The Levi elders and the Oni brothers, they sat in the chamber, they were discussing, they were chatting. But KBAC revealed something to them that, you know, made them to be more than happy. KBAC revealed something to them that gladdens their hearts that we heard that they started uh, jubilating that this is what they want in the palace. Because they were like asking KBAC, ah. When are you going to have another child with Kabiesi, uh, with Queen Naomi? Because this is the kind of question that Ilefi people normally ask. 
There's so much you want Queen Naomi to be pregnant. There's so much you want Mommy Tejinika to have another child for Kabiyesi. Even I say any child that comes from Mommy Tejinika womb is so special. Yes, it is so special. Any child that comes out of her womb is a special child because she is the chosen one. And that is why so many people want Queen Naomi to give birth to more children in the palace for Kabiyesi. Because they believe that her lineage or so is a special one. Yes. Since she is special, anything that will come out of her will be special. And the same thing with Kabiesi. Yes, Kabiesi is a gifted child. The same with Queen Naomi. They merge together and give us a golden son, Prince Tedinikau. And right now, people want more. Not only people the God has already revealed that such a thing will happen in the palace, just that we don't know when. But the gods has revealed that Queen Naomi, sooner or later, will still conceive for Oni of Fife. And Prince Tadenika will have a sibling. So Queen Akabi Esi brought it up today when they were asking her, asking him questions of uh, when is Queen Naomi going to load again? When You know, as men, they normally joke with each other. Kavi is sitting down to them that uh, he's assuring them that very soon, uh, ah, soonest, that they will start seeing changes in Queen Naomi's body. That was when we heard that they started uh, jubilating. They were so happy to just got this news from Kavi Esi, that soon Queen Naomi will be pregnant again. Because there were speculations that... Uh, the reason why other Oloris are not getting pregnant is that Kavi AC is, uh, is not, uh, you know, after everything that they will still not get pregnant. They don't know whether Kavi AC is man enough to do that and all that. But we all believe that it is all fake lies. Because Kavi AC impregnated Adiola mom and she gave birth to Adiola. So you cannot say that Kavi AC is not man enough. Kabi Ese at the same time impregnated Princess Adewamiwa mother and she gave birth to Princess Adewamiwa. And there was one fine baby girl we saw. Kabi Ese is the father too. Before even our Prince Tedinikawo and now all of Toby's children like her, Toby is claiming. So you see that Kabi Ese is a man enough. So for all that all of they talk that one. That I should be the one to go and check themselves because Kabi Esi ain't get plenty of children and it has confirmed, even that others are not confirmed that they are Kabi Esi's children. But we are sure that Prince Tedeneka was confirmed fully before he was given the crown prince of Ilefe that he is 100% biological son of Kabi Esi. So you see that Kabi Esi doesn't. Uh, half problem others are just uh you know giving out a propaganda to bring him down but that is not the case what we are hearing my Korean people is that there is a huge celebration in the palace within the palace between only brothers elife people as kabi is gave out a shocking news that soon mommy tedene cow will be pregnant again i bet my Korean people make an achukma for this matter Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned, stay connected for more updates to be dropping from time to time about waiting the sub for Palace allegedly.